What is going on ladies and gentlemen, it is Explicit Sickness, and I am here today with a gameplay on Interchange of Domination with my teammate J-Hub and uh, one other of our lovely guys, <laughs> Chokes on Kalk. So um, anyways, uh, we're playing for Warrior Nation and we're a part of the new Explicit Competitive Team, and as you know, I was the old leader of the Explicit Gaming Team back in Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare, but primarily then we were a sniping team and a GB team. But now we are an MLGPro.com team and we do play against multiple MLG favorites. And uh, as you can see probably in the game feed you can see the W or the WNX clan tag with the yellow on it. So if you guys want to go to Warrior Nation and check us out, it's uh, the website is warriornation.net or www.warriornation.net. There you can create an account, log into the forums and keep track on what we're doing and you can also keep track on what all the other games are uh, doing they have M like multi-role playing games they have all styles of games like anything that you can uh, possibly imagine there's a forum for you so check out warriornation.net and uh, also sub up jhub i'll have his channel in the description and uh, also have warrior nation's website in the description um, so basically, what I'm going to break down for you guys today is uh, the roles that I play now in Modern Warfare 3, as well as my class setup and the reasons as to why I use the guns that I do. So as you'll see, I have the MP7 Red Dot with Winter Camo with Kick and um, as its proficiency. I also have Scavenger, Dead Silence, and Hardline Pro as my first initial perks with the Specialist Killstreak. Now the reason why I'm using Hardline Pro is because I like the quick ability to get my specialist kill streaks. That's what I primarily run when I am playing this game. I used to run support and a lot of assault, mostly assault. But um, seeing now that how effective the support pack or the, um, the specialist package is, that's prim primarily what I run because I enjoy having more perks and getting more kills that way as opposed to having air support pick up the kills. And, uh, and my sidearms are, of course, the Kimbo FMG9s. Um, kind of typical, yes, but in the same time, it allows me to get out of a sticky situation and I don't spawn holding them. So by, what I mean by that, and you know exactly what I mean by that, is the community players that will flip out the Akimbo FMGs and go run on a tear and get one or two kills and die, flip them back out as soon as they spawn and go on a little two kill tear again. And um, so basically, as you can see, uh, I'm playing very, very aggressive. I'm getting in their spawn. I'm stirring up the hornet's nest. And I'm um, using this little light mobile submachine gun to really just piss them off, just really get into their spawn point and just stir up a whole lot of, whole lot of trouble. J-Hub is playing the support playback player, and uh, he's basically making sure the spawns, when they change, he lets me know. And at the same time, he also keeps an eye out for those like right side, left side spawn stragglers. Like basically, when I force him out of spawn, he picks up the two or three guys that spawns outside. And um, J Hub does a very, very good job about playing very supportive and defensive at the same time. He's an MOAB player. Um, basically, he goes for MOABs on a consistent basis, and he does a very, very, very good job of doing it. Um, so basically with us working as a team here and just herding the spawn, basically like dolphins in a fish ball in the ocean, um, I'm doing basically a lot of just running around and snagging kills and J-Hub's just cleaning up my mess. And so with the specialist kill streaks, um, the reason why I have what I have, um, I normally run quick draw as opposed to hardline for my second or my red perk. And here you can see I'm running Sleight of Hand, Quick Draw, and Assassin as my specialist kills. And the reason why I choose Sleight of Hand is, of course, it allows me to slam a reload down, get more bullets downrange, and if I get into a sticky situation, of course, I'm going to be able to outgun you quicker because I've got a full clip quicker than you can put one in. Um, I normally ran Quick Draw due to the fact because I can throw grenades, and throw stuns, and other equipment down quick, and in the MLG circuit, you need to be able to get stuns and flashes and frags downrange just so you can either get a placement of enemies, like where they're at, what routes they're taking, typically in search and destroy or demolition, or to of course get that spawn kill or that lucky grenade kill off the spawn that will set aside, you know, the odds. So basically, 
Um, that's the reason why I have sleight of hand on, is for the quicker reloads, and then quick draw for the quicker uh, equipment and stun frag switch, and uh, the aim down sights. And of course, assassin, just because I don't like showing up as a little, little red blip on the radar. And I would normally be running a silencer with this weapon with the red dot, but since I don't have the silencer unlocked yet, this is the first game that I actually used the MP7, um, that's what would allow me to remain stealth. And so basically what Assassin does is you don't show up on portable radar, um, the, fuck, what, is the, what is the supportive radar, the really big, um, anyways, and then um, you regular UAV. So it allows you to be a little bit hidden from, uh, from the player's UAV, but of course air support can still see you. So that's why it's imperative that I get that specialist kill streak. And so thus far we're into the commentary about six minutes or so. And it's a very solid game. Score right now to me on my screen is showing 124 to 72. So basically it's a blowout. J Hub's using the ACR, I'm assuming with a red dot and silencer or just probably silencer with kick on it. Um so basically that's all I got for the perks at this point. So basically the the gameplay itself is gonna speak for how I operate. With my playstyle, I'll break that down for you. The playstyle that I like to play is, is an aggressive support player. And basically what that means is I charge into the spawn, stir up a hornet's nest, pull back, and then put them back into their spawn. It allows for the optimum amount of kills and it allows for the optimum amount of points. And uh, basically for me, that's what it's all about. It's just getting big scores, big points, and going in strong. And so, as you can see here, I just keep stirring up the hornet's nest, pulling back, and then just running to the new spawn. And that allows me to be really unanticipated when it comes to the enemy team. I can basically rush, and you can basically say, okay, this guy's going to rush me, but I don't know where from. He's always changing it up. And that's what you need to do in this game. Change it up. Don't be predictable. Don't allow yourself to be caught to the victim of the same route, caught to the same victim of the same playing style. You know, you gotta change your stuff up. You gotta find something that works for you, but as well, you gotta find other things that work with you as well. Multiple playing styles, multiple routes, multiple spawn traps. This allows you to maximize your efficiency as well as your accuracy, whatever stats you prefer. I'm a KDR guy, not an accuracy or a win ratio guy. I prefer to have a beautiful KD and a lot of kills as opposed to a win ratio or an accuracy. You know what I mean? Like if you if you have a 20% accuracy or a 25% accuracy, you're damn accurate. But how often can you take on three or four guys at once? See, that's my specialty is I can go out into the field or I can go out into a match and be able to take on two or three enemies at once with confidence that I'll be able to outgun them eventually or outsmart them to where I can flank them and then get all three and get the kills. That for me is my most prioritized kind of stat goer. And um, as you can see another play style is, is I like to trip cap a lot. That's because of the MLG Pro Circuit matches that I played. Basically what trip capping is and domination is having all points at once and securing them for maximum point uh, efficiency. So as you can see here, I'm just uh, shooting a little helicopter at the end of the match. No more kills. I end up going 48 and 7, I believe. And um, so it's going to be a good game. So thank you for watching, guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Sub up. All right, guys. Sick this out.